1981, Eventide introduced the SP-2016, a programmable effects processor that has been used on countless hit records. It's still revered to this day by top engineers, and it can be argued that Eventide coined the term and created the world's first plugins, which at the time were ROM chips that plugged into sockets within the SP-2016 to provide new reverb algorithms. Read more about the history of the unit in the description of the video. The 2016 Stereo Room Reverb plugin is based off the original SP-2016 Stereo Room ROM. Let's take a look at the easy-to-use controls. On the left, the input control can be used to attenuate the input so as not to overdrive the reverb and produce distortion. The digital clip light will turn red if you're overdriving the input. The mix control is used to control the mix between the unprocessed input and the reverberated output. Unique to Eventide plugins is the Mix Lock feature, which allows for flexible preset browsing. When illuminated, the mix value will remain unchanged as new presets are loaded. The presets feature award-winning engineers and producers, such as Joe Ciccarelli, George Massenberg, and Dave Pensato. Dave can be quoted that the SP-2016 is his all-time favorite hardware reverb and that he manages to sneak it in on almost every mix. The kill button is a quick way to remove the input from the reverb so that you can listen to the reflections. Pre-delay introduces a delay before the reverb effect. The decay sets the time in seconds for a full amplitude signal to decay by 60 dB. This is your reverb time. The position control is used to move your listening position from the front to the rear of the room. This is not simply a mix of front and rear reflections, but instead modifies the complex delay network to more realistically simulate the sense of moving within the room. This control is the reason why engineers such as Alan Sides at Ocean Way still use the hardware to this day. Eventide's 2016 reverbs contain magic under the hood. <laughs> Diffusion alters the character of your space, from the sharp reflections of flat hard surfaces to diffused reflections from rough irregular ones. The EQ block has four controls that can be used to change the internal frequency characteristics of the reverberator. It's easier to hear the effect of attenuating the high frequencies than the low. The effect may be subtle or dramatic depending on the source material and other reverb settings such as decay, position, or diffusion. There's a reason the 2016 is a favorite reverb amongst famous engineers. It sounds great and it's very easy to use. Thanks to the low CPU hit, you can use several instances on one track and not worry about performance. Download the fully functional 30-day demo from eventideaudio.com.